Hi guys, it's Michelle and today's video is going to be yet another Mandela Effect video for you guys. You guys already know. I love the Mandela Effect and you guys seriously do too, which makes me so freaking happy. It makes me very happy that you guys still care about the Mandela Effect because I literally still do every day I think about it, every day I see TikToks about it, you guys tag me and you guys tag me in tweets reddit freaking instagram everything and i love how much you guys love it so let's get into it this first mandela effect is one that i can't believe i've never talked about I say that lightly because honestly i'd be forgetting if i talk about things or not sally field's speech when she's accepting an oscar everybody remembers it being you like me, you really like me, but that is actually not even the quote. The quote is actually, I can't deny the fact that you like me, right now, you like me. And I can't deny the fact that you like me, right now, you like me. And I'm just like, how the hell did we get such a different way of this? Like, I, I, I just don't know. And obviously this came out in 1985, which is before I was personally born. It seems like a lot of people have misquoted it in the entire time that it existed to the point where Sally Fields even talked about it. And it's just crazy to me that something could be so misquoted. I would like to hear your opinions on it, especially if you're like older and you remember the actual speech coming out. I would love to hear what you remember hearing on that actual day um, if you were watching. So let me know. I definitely remember people saying, you like me, you really like me. Like that's always quoted. Why would it be quoted wrong? Okay, the next Mandela effect. And people maybe will think that I am stupid for this. The Eiffel Tower. And I've never been to Paris. Let me disclaim that. Um, but I never remember the Eiffel Tower being like a tunnel in the sense of there's like a road underneath the Eiffel Tower that you could just drive under it. No, absolutely not. I do, <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. But from Paris, you're probably like, bitch, of course there's a fucking road because like, I feel like when Mandela effects are a little too close to home, sometimes they don't really work in the same way. So I would like to hear your opinion and the Parisian people, you guys can yell at me, but I would like to hear it regardless. Um, because I swear, and I, like I said, have never been to Paris. I was one of those bitches who took French instead of Spanish in middle school and high school and college and after college, just because I liked Paris and the way the language sounded. It's très belle. There was no road underneath. I swear the Eiffel Tower just had like grass underneath, maybe a pavement, but like, I didn't know you could drive under it. What? It kind of reminds me of the Mandela effect about Disney World. A lot of people remember that you walk into Disney World, like Magic Kingdom. The entrance is Cinderella's castle, which is definitely not true and definitely not how I remember it. Common misconception that I wanna see if it's a Mandela effect because it seems like, this is so going off topic. It seems like a lot of people remember or think that they remember that you could actually go in Sleeping Beauty's castle at Disneyland or Cinderella's castle at Disney World. It's not actually really true. There is like a room in Cinderella's castle that you can rent for like a shit ton of money. Like even the most famous people can't stay there. People say that they remember just being able to go in there just at the park and or there being a ride in there. Not true. So let me know what you guys remember about that. But also about Paris, please, please. If somebody else is like, what the fuck? I didn't know you could drive under the Eiffel Tower. I would be very ecstatic because this made me feel a little bit crazy. Okay, the next Mandela effect drove me absolutely insane. Bob the Builder. I always remember just having an American accent. Bob the Builder has always been British and I'm very confused and upset by this. What the postman's brought Finn. I wonder what's inside. Upset in the sense of I wish I would have known that sooner because I feel like I would have enjoyed the show more because I loved British shows as a kid. I loved the show Charlie and Lola. I loved any British content so much. It was actually a foreshadow of my One Direction phase. So please let me know if you guys remember Pop the Builder being British. I'm sure British people are gonna be like, bitch, it always was. No, it simply wasn't. I just feel like the essence of Bob the Builder is so American to a fault. Like, I'm like, why would British people even make this show? They could have done better. Actually, they did do better. Charlie and Lola hit different 
that was the show. Speaking of shit we liked as a kid, Little Tykes. I always remember Little Tykes being spelt like this. However, Little Tykes has no freaking Y. It's just T-I-K-E-S. And to me, that looks so wrong on so many levels. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a lesbian and Tyke rhymes with a different word. Nonetheless, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It just drives me nuts, mostly because the like wording of it looks so wrong to me, like even in the actual logo. No. The next Mandela effect has to do with something that I would have absolutely no knowledge of because I despise watching sports like with a strong hate except for watching the world cup was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i turned that shit on and i was kind of excited i thought it was fun but for the most part i really just do not enjoy watching sports a reporter was talking to evan longoria i almost said eva longoria and honestly if it were about her, I would probably be able to comment on the Mandela effect. So I saw this TikTok. It has 1.1 million likes, so I'm guessing a lot of people agree with this. However, I personally have no idea, but I figured I would put it in because I was being tagged in it. Is this video of Evan Longoria catching a ball that basically saved the reporter's life? Just really quick, he just went and caught it. It was actually pretty cool. But a lot of people remember the reporter having blonde hair, like to the point where this TikTok, like I said, has 1.1 million views. I have no idea. Like I, I personally have no stance on it other than the fact that I thought it was interesting because of how many likes the video had and comments all agreeing. Absolutely no idea. Like I said, Evan Longoria, the only Longoria I care about is Eva. So like I, no offense. Oh, he plays for the Tampa Bay Rays. I'm from Tampa. Anyway, I sound so fucking dumb when it comes to sports. Literally, just leave me alone. If you happen to know this, let me know what you remember because I don't have any clue. Okay, the next Mandela effect is one we're reiterating once again because it is so damn fucking crazy that I feel like we should be talking about it at least once a week, not every day. Britney Spears everybody remembers the oops i did it again music video her iconic red jumpsuit oops i did it again was one of my favorite songs as a child and i vividly remember in the music video britney spears having a headset 100 thousand percent this existed like without shadow of a freaking doubt and i feel like most people agree However, Britney Spears has never worn a headset in this movie. Despite all the damn Halloween costumes of people dressing up like Britney Spears in this exact outfit. No, typically, just when you're dressing as someone for Halloween, you kind of use a reference photo. Usually, if you're doing your makeup, your hair, whatever situation, you're definitely going to use a reference photo. And look at all these Halloween costumes that include the iconic little headset. Britney Spears was never wearing a headset in the Oops I Did It Again music video. I felt like I had to reiterate that because it kind of just came to my mind again. I was just absolutely baffled because I feel like it is something that should be spoken about, like I said, at least once a day. It's just completely unexplainable to me. You tell me that you don't remember a headset, I instantly do not trust you anymore, so sorry about it. This next Mandela effect is the reverse Curious George Mandela effect. This made me feel so crazy. Mickey Mouse doesn't have a tail, correct? I've never seen Mickey Mouse with a tail. He has a tail that I have never, ever, ever seen before. Please let me know. I don't know Mickey Mouse with that little scraggly ass tail. That's not something I'm aware of. I mean, it makes sense, obviously, for him to have a tail. He's a fucking mouse. You know how in the Mickey Mouse universe, the, they can talk, but like, Pluto can't. I feel like the tail is a little too dehumanizing for Minnie and Mickey to have. Like, I feel like they just wouldn't have a tail, but Pluto has a tail. You know what I mean? And he can't talk because he is the dog. Also, Goofy is a dog. Goofy doesn't have a tail. Mickey should not have a tail. You know what I mean? All right, the next Mandela effect is something, again, that I'm unsure of. As a kid, I always remember being taught that the Mississippi River is the largest and longest river in North America. But the longest river is, in fact, the Missouri River, which, honestly, I've never heard of her, so I 
I would like to hear your opinion on this because I just feel like the Mississippi River, that's what I know. But let me know what you guys think. Okay, the next two Mandela effects come from this TikTok user who always posts the most amazing Mandela effects, but also I feel like she's very pretty. She kind of looks like Paris Jackson to me. I love her. She posts such good Mandela effects and two of these literally drove me freaking crazy. The first one is crickets. If you guys have ever been taught before how do crickets make sound the sound that crickets make where does it come from and if you answered rubbing their legs together you are incorrect and i am so startled by this because i always remember being taught that crickets rubbing their legs together is what makes them make that sound however that is not true what actually makes that sound is crickets rubbing their wings together bitch what that's so wrong no. And the next Mandela effect that she talked about is pink. I love pink. I just feel like pink is to lesbians as, you know, Beyonce are to gay men. Like they're like they're straight icons. Like is our lesbian straight icon. You know what I mean? I don't know. If you're gay, you probably just get it. But anyway, I always remember this party started the song being um coming out so you better get this party started i'm coming out i'm coming a hundred thousand percent to the point where i think i even have it on one of my pride playlists because she says i'm coming out the words have always been i'm coming up so you better get this party started honestly you can cancel the whole fucking party because that is not it no so incorrect and so upsetting if you disagree with me let me know because i i I just don't understand that. This next Mandela effect was a TikTok that I found very interesting because it is a personal Mandela effect. One of these situations has happened to literally everyone. I'm just gonna play the TikTok so you guys get it. We are in an area of Griffith Park that we come to all the time. It's kind of secluded. It's not where everyone goes. We've been coming here for years, right? There's the trusty trash can over by the tree. We never sit over here because we don't wanna be close to that. They put the rocks here recently to keep the guys from playing soccer. But where did this come from? This was never here. And look, it's old. It's not new. Look at this. Look at the condition of this. This is old. This is old. This was never here. I tell you never. We've come here. We've played Frisbee. We've probably laid a blanket where this thing is located. This was never here so shit like this has happened to me so many times where it's something that's in my like regular routine not even daily but you know monthly whenever just like a frequent routine that simply just changes ever so slightly that it blows my fucking mind for example i'm gonna have to get my mom to send me a picture of this in my house at home i swear to god one day i woke up and went into like the foyer like living room area and all of a sudden the lamps are different they're like it's like a couch the lamps are different from each other and also the tables are different from each other and i like immediately thought i was dead like i was like am i okay like what is this because in my reality they were two equal the same lamp and the same table like on either side because that's what makes fucking sense why would my parents do all of that with the freaking mismatching lamps i literally do not know but apparently that's what they did so i legit woke up my sister and was like girl what is that and she was like girl i don't fucking know and we both agreed that we remember the lamps being the same and it is still something that trips me out to this day so if you have anything like that, please let me know because this story really reminded me of the freaking lamps. And my sister is very well aware of lamps. She was in fact a lamp for Halloween in like 2008. So I don't know what else to say. Like, I just feel like personal Mandela effects are some of the most interesting. So I would love to hear your comments on them because seriously, they drive me crazy. But also if you want me to talk about them in a video, that would be really cool to do like a personal Mandela effect section, like kind of how we have our emoji section. I just think it's really interesting and really freaky because like how do you explain something like that like ah, 
I don't know. All right, the next Mandela effect we're gonna be talking about is again the Fruit of the Loom Mandela effect. This is more of a residue situation where we're gonna talk about some evidence. Fruit of the Loom Mandela effect is probably one of the ones that drive me the most insane. Solely the reason that like how the fuck and why the fuck would we all think, oh yeah, like there's a cornucopia on this fucking Fruit of the Loom. Fruit doesn't even go in a cornucopia. Like it makes no sense. I have no logical explanation as to why we all remember there being a cornucopia on the Fruit of the Loom logo. Please, actually please, I beg you and dare you to explain to me why that would be. But some residue that came up was on this cartoon. So in the 2006 movie, The Ant Bully, there is literally a reference to Fruit of the Loom with the cornucopia in it. Like this is quite literally the biggest proof, honestly, that I've maybe seen of the Mandela effect being true. This one bothers me so much because again, it's like something we all remember just never existing. It's one of the ones that has absolutely no explanation, but the fact that that showed up in the Ampoli just drove me crazy. I was like, this is proof. That's just fucking proof. Last Mandela effect before we get into our emoji Mandela effects is all about Harry Potter. Harry Potter has a slightly different ending than it used to. End of the final uh, Deathly Hallows part two. It's the scene where they're obviously like 30 years later, they're all sending their kids off to Hogwarts. And I always remember Draco kind of gives Harry a little bit of a nod and they pan to him on screen. And when Harry is walking in with Ginny and their children, I feel like it makes so much sense and kind of ties the entire series and the entire point of Draco with a little bow that he just gives a little nod and it just shows that like you know what despite their differences they're cool and this never happened Draco just stands there now and I totally disagree with that in fact the original Harry Potter ending to that during the Battle of Hogwarts Draco passes Harry his wand this is like a whole scene that would have so changed the movies like it just would have been amazing um, but they decided to keep that out. But I swear that the nod was there. So please let me know what you guys remember. If you're a Harry Potter stan, let me know. I personally have met Rupert Grint, so I do feel like I have a little room to talk. I'm not gonna lie. All right, without further ado, let's get into the emoji Mandela effects. These are some of my favorites, as I said, because I just think it's pretty crazy when we remember something completely existing, then all of a sudden, poof she's gone. The first one is the seesaw emoji. I can see this so vividly in my head, but it has simply never existed. Under the same kind of vibe, a swing set emoji. Please tell me that you remember there being a swing set emoji. I swear it. I really do. It has never existed. The only playground-ish emoji that exists is the slide, which I just feel like is lonely. It needs a swing set and a seesaw, and then it would be all in one piece together. Next emoji Mandela effect is the skeleton emoji. Now, of course, we have the skull emoji, but I remember there being like a full skeleton, like a full body skeleton emoji so vividly and I feel like it looked like how it does in science classrooms where it's kind of like on one of those stands and I very much remember this but it unfortunately does not exist. Speaking of the Eiffel Tower like we did earlier, Eiffel Tower emoji, I remember it but it does not exist and it never has. The next emoji Mandela effect drove me nuts. It is the maracas emoji. I swear I swear that there's a maracas emoji. Just like cute little like maracas moment. Never, never existed. So really upset by that. The next emoji that I swear existed was a campfire emoji that looked similar to this. Never has existed, never. Why? I just feel like there should be a campfire emoji and it would be really cute if near it, they would have like a little roasting marshmallow emoji. That'd be so freaking cute. Honestly, I think that this series just tells me that I should invent emojis, but whatever. The next two emojis have to do with golf. My friends recently have gotten very obsessed with golf, but I swear that there was a golf cart emoji and a golf ball emoji, but neither of these exist. The emoji I remember was a cinnamon roll emoji. I remember being perfectly like little spiral. It was really cute and it does not exist. And the last Mandela effect emoji is making me feel a little crazy. And I remember there being a pom-pom emoji, like a cheerleader's pom-poms, 100,000%. 
and it has never existed and I'm just honestly way too frustrated to continue but that is all of the Mandela effects that we're gonna be talking about today. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what Mandela effects you guys remember. If you remember any of these or if you're tripped out by them, if you have any personal Mandela effects, let me know. But that is it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram and subscribe for new videos every week and I will see you guys later. Bye.